Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. I got a request from one of our friends asking to show how to filter activities without predecessor or successor in Primavera P6. Activities without predecessor or activities without successor in Primavera P6 schedule known as open end activities and as a best practice of scheduling we should avoid these open ended activities in any schedule so this is one of our checkpoints for any schedule so let's see how to do this in detail in this tutorial now first let me show how to filter all the activities without any predecessor first click on the filter icon click on new to add a new filter and name the filter as say no predecessor now give the filter criteria as under parameter select predecessor equals and leave the value as blank now click ok click again ok here now you can see all those activities without any predecessor like this you can cross check with the details section okay next let us see how to filter all the activities without any successor similarly click the filter icon click on the new to add a new filter and name the filter now as no successor give the filter criteria as under parameter select successor and condition as equals and leave the value as blank click ok and click again ok now you can see all those activities without any successor like this got it friends okay now finally let us filter activities without predecessor or successor together in primavera p6 again click on the filter icon click on new now name the filter as say no pred and SUCC. Now give the filter criteria as select any of the following and under parameter select predecessor and condition as equals and leave the value as blank. Now click add again and give the second condition as successor equals blank okay we are giving the two conditions together now click ok click again on ok now you can see all those activities either without any predecessor or successor like this got it friends now you can correct these activities and you can link with the right logics relationships logics and then you can correct your schedule okay so this will serve as a checkpoint for your schedule so friends this is how we filter those activities without any predecessor or successor in primavera p6 i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if yes please give me a like share and comment for further more interesting videos please do subscribe to dp tutorials thank you friends thanks for watching